Welcome to the Boston Art Podcast. Boston's premier art podcast. Where we talk art, culture, and philosophy. My name is Theodore Earthworms. And I am Brian Huntress. Welcome to the show. Oh, it's so nice out. It's beautiful out, that's true. Is my mic on? Uh, yeah, you should be good. You right, got a cool. little blue light or something? Yeah, teeny tiny little mic. Um, teeny tiny little mic. So this might be one of the most... I know we say this every time we record, but this might be one of the... What the fuck is in my car seat? How am I supposed to get in the car when you have objects in my seat? It's a giant drawing. It's appropriate. Um, I was going to say, this is probably... <laughs> I don't know why my new um, podcast persona is just constantly complaining at you. I'm enjoying it, though. <laughs> That's fun. It's a fun... My shtick is that I'm mad at you. The shtick is... Not really. Just kidding. I love you a lot. Um, la, 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 la. La, la, la. And remember, was... hey, when we use these mics, when we put them all the way up on our mouths, it sounds like shit. Oh, is this good? Where you're at right now is perfect. Okay. Um, I was going to say that... Uh, this is probably, even though we say this almost every time we record, one of the most um, crammed in last minute recordings that we have ever done. We are leaving the country in like an hour and we're on our way to the store to buy underwear for Brian. Yeah, well, <laughs> see, I have, it's a, just, despite popular belief, I own many pairs of underwear. Men. Like, <laughs> I own more pairs of underwear than anybody you've ever met in your life. Is it a popular opinion that you're a guy with not a lot of underwear? They say that. They say that on, That's what they say. on Reddit. <laughs> in the uh, Brian Huntress subreddit. Yep, they do. Um, but I was suppo- I did laundry, you know, like five or six days ago or something. And I thought that I was like, oh, good. I'm going to, like, set aside some clothes to pack for the trip. Fucking... Today oh, for ah! the <laughs> we just got like assaulted by NPR. Uh, it just randomly turned on. I basically fucking thought I did enough laundry that I would have clothes to pack by the time we left, but I used up a ton of my underwear and fucking, you know. Yeah. You know those frivolous weeks where you just like change your underwear multiple times a day for no real reason? You're like, you're like, I kind of, I was like sweaty a little bit earlier, so I'm going to change my clothes. What kind of week is that for you? Like, are you in a good mood when you do that or like, no, that's when I, that's when I like, (laughs) it's like my laundry is burning a hole in my pocket. (laughs) Like I have so much clean clothes at the same time that I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to just, I'm going to go through like three t-shirts, change my socks multiple times, (laughs) whatever. Freewheeling. Every life is easy now. Wow. And then I'm, you know, just some idiot with... I love uh, that for you, though. With no underwear. Well, in your defense, five pairs of underwear is usually, like, an okay supply. Unless you're leaving the country for a week. Yeah. Then you probably need to think a little bit more in advance. What's funny about this, too, is that this isn't going to air until multiple days after we're back. (laughs) (laughs) So we'll tell you how it went. Yeah. I am so fucking anxious i am so stressed out my stomach has hurt all day um freaking out yeah not me because too. i don't want to go not because i think anything bad is going to happen um i don't even want to say this out loud right now because i'm scared i'm going to speak it into existence but i'm afraid that we're going to go to the airport and i'm going to realize for some reason that i'm the reason that we can't go on the family vacation yeah you because know. <laughs> i'm like in a vulnerable position as like your girlfriend on this family trip where it's like if i can't go it's gonna be so weird it'd be so embarrassing i'd have to like figure out a ride home cancel all my plans message my boss and be like hey that would be fucking horrible i would have to fake my death and then i'd and then i'd be like you know what i gotta be a good guy right now and and just stay home too would i'll you miss really the flight too that I would immediately propose that probably because, like, that's what I maybe feel like would be a good thing to do. But then I would be hoping <laughs> that you would be like, no. I. But if you were like, really, thank you, then I'd be like, fuck. I would probably, in that situation, honestly, I'd probably want you to stay with me. But it would be stupid for you to do that and don't do it. 
I would you don't know, do it. Well, what if it's me? What if I'm? What if my passport's like fucked up or something, or I like accidentally bought a plane ticket for like next month, <laughs> or like some stupid ass shit? And like, would you just go with my family and leave me? I feel like that would be way more weird. I feel like you would have to. Go with your family? Yeah, you would have to leave me. What? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying that, like, I think one of the biggest things that makes people afraid about flying is the fact that, like, like, you know how when you go to the RMV and you're, like, renewing your license or something or, like, whatever it is you're doing, it's just, like, one wrong move. Like, one missed cross T or, like, whatever the fuck it is like fucks you and then you just like it's like back the line or like get the fuck out yeah that really stresses me out it's like that but there's like eight hundred dollars on the line more than that more yeah Yeah. so right so it's like god and it's also the fact that it's like kind of a once in a lifetime experience so it's like if it was just like a regular vacation we could just go again in six months but there's not going to be another like massive ceremony oh Uh, right so the thing that, that that does make it a bit of a once in a lifetime thing isn't I I was going to say that I feel sad about that thought that going cro- like overseas to a new place for a trip is a once in a lifetime event but the part no. that is once in a lifetime <laughs> is we're going to the king's coronation <laughs> is that a good British accent? That sounded more like lemon grab. Yeah. It kind of did. Wow, the king's coronation. I don't know if this is true or not, but not my grandfather questions. told me that um, he's really excited, like, vicariously through me that I'm going to this because the way that things have been going with the monarchy, that it's people are suspecting this might be the last coronation. They might phase out the concept of the monarchy. Honestly, dude, I feel like that's just as likely as, like, the United States banning the Electoral College. <laughs> like, that's not going to fucking happen. It would like, add unless, some, like... Unless all of them die, like, at the simultaneously, like, of some, randomly, like, like and disappear. Like, I think while they're still living, that's never gonna happen. But haven't a lot of them, like, abandoned their right to the throne? Like, one of them. Who is it? Prince fucking whatever the fuck? The redheaded guy that's, like, on yeah, Netflix he, now or something? He relinquished his, um... Yeah, well, he whatever, was, like, but... eighth in line anyway. Yeah. So, I don't believe I it. I don't know a lot about the monarchy, to be honest, but I am excited to learn, and it should be a really interesting weekend. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we didn't really touch on this last year or whenever the, uh, you know, uh, fateful day that the queen passed away. Mm. But it was so funny because we had many, many thoughts about that, but we felt a little bit hesitant. Because, like, you know, can I speak behind the scenes a little bit? Okay. I'm not going to say anything controversial or that would make anyone feel weird. But I just remember that the whole, the queen died and everybody, the internet was just filled with being like, oh, fuck you. Like, people just, like, yeah. being funny and talking about how the queen's dead or something. But we, me and you, were in the middle of Touching Roots. <laughs> the Touching Roots series that was airing. Yeah. So, I forgot that, that was at the same time. So it would have just been really like inappropriate for the tone of of it all for us to join in on the dog pile. Yeah. On the uh, on the queen. I also like <laughs> I don't know. I I'm not one of those people that like doesn't talk about their political views, but I'm also not like I'm not a dog piler usually just because sure. I get really bad tummy aches. <laughs> I don't like being stressed out. Of course. <laughs> yeah i don't know i feel like that one was tricky just because we were in the middle of a series of like really sensitive conversations about like museums and like critical race theory and history and like really emotional serious stuff which if you're so if you if really we... want to extrapolate out on that there's a lot to be said <laughs> that's yeah vein but about it, was the just, queen. it was not an appropriate time for me to be like oh bitch fuck you glad you're dead ha 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 yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Is it weird that I... So earlier today, I played a 2v2 basketball game mm-hmm. at my gym because I'm, I'm that dude. I'm that dude? I play one v. I play bas- pick-up basketball games with random people. And <laughs> this is the was, first time that's happened. And it, yeah, it's true. It's the first time <laughs> Just I've to ever clarify. done that. I love that, though, because um, I was... 
working from home in your room and you came home you know this already but i'm pretending you don't know um you came home and you were like i just got back from basketball and you're like panting and sweaty and like heavy breathing and i'm like what happened like are you good and you're like yeah i played 1v1 i think we won and i was like 2v2 2v2 yeah well at the end it's everyone was like oh that's it and then he's like it was 14 to 7 good game but i don't know if i was the 14 or the 7 hey by the way you probably won we're holding these mics and i feel like we're gonna draw attention to ourselves if we're not discreet so maybe you should put it in your sleeve a little bit like i just don't want anyone to think that we're like tiktokers or something i mean we have a podcast it's not that different that's true we are doing what we're doing (laughs) yeah Um, but i just don't want to accidentally draw unwanted attention okay oh this is gonna get claimed on youtube now what do you mean it doesn't matter though because nobody watches it Wait, what do you oh, mean? Oh, wait, I was thinking there would be music playing. Yeah, nothing happened. It, it, like, oh, okay. copyright claims it. Yeah, no, we're good. So we're, we're in Target because I need underwear and floss. We're literally driving to the airport in one hour. I said that earlier and it was an exaggeration, but now it's actually literally true. And? It's a really cute bathing suit. Which one I don't know if one? I'm being crazy, but I packed a bathing suit. I think you are crazy. You told me to bring it. Like swimming in England right now would be like swimming in like, in like Maine in like April. But what if there's like a pool at our hostel or something? We don't even know where we're staying. I guess that's possible. That would be pretty sick. If I guess I'll be true. the only one to go in it because nobody else. Maybe Will did. Well, if there was, if there is an opportunity like that, I would underwear swim. In the pool? Sure. Damn, it's hardcore. All right, let's go right. What are we? Oh, yeah. Oh, because you're going to have plenty of underwear. <sighs> that's um, true. I feel like I'm going to realize that I didn't pack everything that I needed to pack. <sighs> I'm so stressed out. I feel like I'm going to die. I'm like completely disassociating right now. Really? Yeah, because we're in Target and I'm just like chilling. I'm just looking around thinking about all the things I could buy if I had any money at all. There was something I wanted to say about England earlier, but I forget what it is. Can you remember for me? Um, That we're going there? Oh yeah, true. (laughs) Um, Oh, there is music now. When did the music start? What is this? Maroon 5? It does sound like it. Remember when this guy just like publicly ruined his own life, like and exposed himself as being a fucking, like a total like dumbass idiot. I forget what he did. Didn't he like? He cheated on his wife while she was pregnant, and then tried to name his child after his mistress that he had cheated with. Oh my god! It was hilarious. Did they actually name the child that? I don't think so. Good. But, but it was exposed in text messages that he like tried. He was like trying to make that happen or something what a psycho yeah <laughs> jeez it's really funny it's not funny that that happened to somebody but it's funny that he's a dumbass hmm damn <laughs> all right see if you can find the underwear that i wear because i don't see it all right you want to prove that you really know me okay what 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 brand underwear do I wear? The cheapest. What brand? <laughs> um, Prove it. Are they in front of us right now? Because there's it. only Hanes. It says it on my underwear in big bold letters. The only fruit one. of the loom. That's right. Okay. Well, I guess that was easier than I made it seem like it was going to be. <laughs> you oh, you should get these lemon socks. They're really cute. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. That was so adorable. Excuse me. <laughs> um, hey, you want to do a little bit of a commentary with me right now? On what? The underwear? Or the fact that... No, Fleetwood Mac right now. Ready? I think that this might be one of those weird classic rock remasters they do where they just add a little bit of a dance beat underneath. I was the just thinking song. that. I don't think that was there before. Yeah, they added a boom clap to it. This is like the Elton John move where he recently went Billboard number one for a bunch of different songs without writing anything. And he, he probably added... didn't even enter the studio for it, but he had producers remaster his classic songs into new dance songs to and then release them and probably made a fucking killing. That's crazy. And reestablished his relevance. Honestly, a, a very, very interesting uh, move in, 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 in the music world, IMO. It is a good move. It's interesting, I guess. I don't know. This I might is... be completely wrong about this specific Fleetwood Mac track. No, I think you're right. The, cool. He listened to the song. I think I liked the original better, but I am dancing while I'm listening to it. So. Yeah, it's because stuff like this is just like 
It's kind of like when you smell McDonald's, like your mouth waters, even if you don't want it or like it. Yeah. Like, I think that there's certain kinds of beets that just make you feel that in your stomach, no matter what. If you don't choose a package of underwear, I'm going to scream. I got bad news, but they don't have the only ones that I'm willing to wear. What about these ones? Wait, what about these, actually? There's this whole section you didn't look at. No, I need to get the ones that also, I Also, you don't get to be choosy unless you want to rewear underwear all week. What do you mean you're willing to wear? You don't understand. It's, it's This is a serious business. <laughs> you can't just buy random... You know, you'll get, you'll get fucked. You ruin your whole life. What about these? Oh, wait, here they are. Oh, my wait, God. Nope, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. False alarm. Okay, what about this section? Well, these are three packs, and they're overpriced. So that's not acceptable. Well, you only need either. three pairs. You have five. Painted my visions to myself. Do, do, do. I wonder if our mics will still work if I just walk away. You know what's funny is I can't hear you, but I know you're talking. Yeah, I think that confirms that it's going to work because right, I, I can hear what they it. said. Um, the only problem here is that I don't, I'm not going to know if Brian's still talking. I'm looking at baby clothes and toys and things. I'm really bored. See, Did you okay, find them? I know it's funny to walk out of range and not me not know what you're saying, but you might disconnect disconnect yeah like you might fuck up the range of the mic huh. wait was that just blinking no are you 100 percent sure yeah okay you're good let me double let me double check the sound i'm being paranoid 100 percent. here give me a pop 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 you're good okay cool because i lied i wasn't 100 percent sure oh okay i had no idea to All be right, honest. well i got the underwear that i required nice uh do you think baby food tastes good yeah i'm sure it's fine i had on good authority this is a good one what is it apple raspberry Avocado? Yeah, that sounds really good. You know what's funny? Is, uh, that I think about sometimes? Actually, what? no, that's the most boring thing ever. Never mind. So these are basically tiny smoothies? They are like tiny smoothies. I wonder if it would be like a total like creep move to just buy one to eat them. Like, if you just, like, what if you found out that one of your friends, or just, like, or what if you found out that I just low-key loved baby food? And, like, I'd just pop into Target and, like, buy a little baby food and, and just eat it in my car with my coffee. Should this be the closer of the episode like, that, that I'd buy this dollar baby food and we both take a little shot of baby food? Dude, let's test it. I'll do buy it. Buy it. It's a dollar fifty. All right. This is this, the one Reed was eating the other day. This will be a cool bit. Dude, the ingredients are only apple, raspberries, and avocado. There's nothing else in here. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why it probably low-key is actually good. Damn. Should All we look right. at the other flavors? Um, I don't care that much, but I need to go buy floss. All right. But yeah, this will be a this will be funny. Is this crazy? Is this fucked up of us? No. Um, we're I taking we're food like... out of babies' mouths. <laughs> um. All right, it's seven o three. Yeah, we got to zip, 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 zip. We're getting picked zip, up at zip, eight, zip, and we still have to. Oh, look at the little. Boots. We still gotta edit. Oh my god. We're eighteen minutes in though, so. Oh, that's it. Like, I mean, my personal absolute, like, like I will not accept anything lower than 50 minutes i agree but if it's if it's 50 minutes it's a shorty but it's acceptable well we're gonna do what we gotta do because you have to queue this up and upload it before we leave the house too yeah luckily uh luckily we have an unimaginably low standard of editing you know what i didn't consider at all what the fact that we're gonna have to wait at the airport for three hours before our flight too yeah that's pretty standard though because you don't want to because if you get caught up or something then you know, I mean, yeah. you're totally fucked. I know, but like, I'm really, really trying to think about whether or not I want to bring my computer or not. I know you think it's a bad idea, and I kind of agree that it's a bad idea, but I don't know if I can make it for like seven consecutive hours with nothing. We talked about this, and I think that one of the, it's not the most common way, but it's in the top 10 most common ways to lose your laptop. Yeah, it's true. Just taking it on a trip. That would be literally devastating if I lost my computer. Happened to my brother. Really? He went to San Francisco and got smashed and grabbed. Oh, my God. Yeah, lost his, like, camera, laptop, tons of shit. Okay, never mind. That's horrible. Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not trying to contribute to the, uh, to the San Francisco thief hysteria, but it happened. It I get happened it. It's fair. I'm going to not do that then. Um, mm, da, 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 da. 
I do I really have want the ones that, uh, watercolors like in my bag. Like minty flossers. Non-liquid ones. All right, let's do it. So, I'm good. I'm again out of range of what Brian's saying. Come on, let's go. We're in the flosser section now. Dude, I don't know if it's because we're going on the trip and I'm really stressed about it or what, but for the last like six days, five or six days, I think I talked about this last episode too, because we recorded that like two days ago. Um, my ADD has been like off the chain. I like can't focus on anything. And when I do, it's like I don't even pee for like six hours. And my brain is always like, Zzzz, and I can't stop dancing. Oh my god, that kid is so cute. <laughs> He's got his hands in his pocket. It's so funny when little kids do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's kind of a problem. It's like weird to be aware of the functioning capacities of your own hardware. Well, it's not weird. It's actually really good and helpful. It's weird. To, be, to notice and voice things like that. Yeah, I guess so. That's good for you. Alright, self check out. Huh. Damn. Should we get a real snack too? Like peanut butter cups? I guess so. Oh, wait, no, we have the baby food. That's enough. <laughs> hey. What? I didn't say that I would pay for the baby food. It was a dollar. It was a dollar fifty nine. Oh, wait. <gasps> what? Do you not have your wallet? I literally fucking don't. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I have no idea where my wallet is. Likely story. Oh my god, I'm a dumbass. You better figure out where it is. No, I know where it is, Before but I'm country. a dumbass. Shit. It's in your house, right? I'll demo you right now. No worries. I mean, yeah, do that, but like, not in like an urgent way. <laughs> 20... I'll pay for the baby food. You don't have to pay me for that. Save your two dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm leaving. All right, we good. Did you just see that little girl staring at me? No. It was kind of funny. <laughs> it was like, uh, usually when a kid looks at you, they just look and then look away because they're scared or something. Yeah. But that kid just like locked eyes with me and I like, I was the one that I looked away and then looked back and looked away and then looked back. My old um, karate yeah, sensei like, wow, I just used get, like, to say, out by a child? the first dog who looks away loses. The first <laughs> I used to believe that when I was in middle school and I would just walk down the street and just stare at people because I was like, I don't know. Maybe someone just told her that. I think I had, like, a deep-set fear that somebody would, like, attack me and that I would, like, lose or something. <laughs> but, so I would always be ready to be, like... You know what's hilarious about that? Like, like I'd just be prepared for battle all the, all the time. Do you know how bizarre it would have to be for a random person to attack you on the street and for you as, like, a seven-year-old to win? Seventh grade, not seven, seven-year-old. What's seventh grade? That's, Still. That's, like, fucking 12 or something. Huh. All right. Yo, before we get some twelve-year-olds can beat up adults. We have to do this in the privacy of your car. Oh, eat the baby food. Let's yeah. leave Target. We can't. There could be somebody filming us that we don't know about. Do you ever panic that like <laughs> you might a- accidentally end up on a? Have you ever seen the TikTok page "Influencers in the Wild"? <laughs> it's a very embarrassing account. It'd be a video of us in the baby section at Target with tiny microphones talking about eating this baby food. That would be, yeah, that would suck if to to get put on that uh, account for that. Do you think that, that would be hilarious? Do you think the lady at the self checkout thought we had a baby, or like, did she know? Well, because we not. talked about getting a snack what, like, right in front of her. What baby? Well, I mean, <laughs> what parent <laughs> would buy one singular little jar of baby food? You like, I bet when parents buy those, they probably buy a ton, right? Maybe we're like a bad like aunt and uncle and they're like oh can you just pick up a jar of baby food for the baby and we're like yeah we just got one because we're very literal well yeah we're, we're not just, eating it we're just both fucking idiots it's not for us <laughs> um you know what would be interesting why don't they sell jars of baby food that are like the size of a peanut butter jar because like it's... why single fucking serving because it's um refrigerate after opening used within three days uh, well, I bet just the newborn parent market is just a very lucrative 
uh, thing to exploit. These are essentially like applesauce containers. All right, let's take a sip of that shit. All right, we uh, here, open it. All right. I didn't want to put my mic down. So you made me? Yeah. All right. I'm scared. The baby food is open. It said that there's only fruit and vegetables in so it. So I, sm- I just hit a quick whiff. My first impression, fine. Get a smell. Oh, it smells pretty good. It smells like applesauce. Okay, so... What if should, there's, like, formula? We should try it first. Oh, there's, like, like... Well, eat it. <laughs> well, it's not like we're going to die if we eat it. Maybe it's a little weird, but... You want me to go first? Yeah, hit that shit. Take a little applesauce sip. Alright, I'll good. try it right away. Um, what? It's good. You try don't like it. it, huh? No, try it. Wouldn't eat it. I would never eat this. It's gross. <laughs> I think that it's not gross because of... what's it, What are the ingredients again? Yeah, it's like weird. Apple, raspberries, and avocado. Well, so I wouldn't have paired avocado with apple and raspberries. Also, apples and raspberries are two of my least favorite fruits. Why didn't you want to look at other flavors then? Because I don't care. What if we got a really yummy one? <laughs> this tastes exactly like how it was advertised. It doesn't taste like baby food. It just tastes like pureed avocado and raspberries, which actually, now that I think about it, is kind of a disgusting pairing. Yeah, that's a... Yeah. You know what's funny is, like, I just feel, like, debased. Like, I feel like I just did, like, something fucked up. <laughs> what do we do with the rest like, of it? I just like did a crime by eating baby food just directly out of the <laughs> out of the jar, sec- like secretly in my car. <laughs> Not even secretly. This is very public, really. I think we should finish it. Uh, it's kind of yeah. fucked up if we don't finish it, right? Absolutely not. That's not real. We didn't just like take food from a baby by eating that. So you just you just threw it Ugh. back. That was a big gulp you just took. God, I can't do it. Yeah, it's gross. Where's the lid? It's on uh, on the fucking transmission. Jesus Christ, that's disgusting. Yeah, I would never eat that. That's really all that's in it. Are they lying? Read the nutritional facts. See what's uh. See if there's any. Literally, it says organic apple, organic raspberries, organic avocado. Huh. Well, isn't that kind of cute that that's all babies need? Yeah, they just eat little fruits. It's like you're feeding like a video game, like like. Like, you know, I don't know, like... Like a little fairy. Yeah, like, if you, like, I, you know what something that reminds me of is, uh, I don't know, this is a deep cut video game, but there was a, a, a GameCube Sonic uh, game where there was a mini game inside of the Sonic game where you could go into Chew World and Chews were, like, these little, like, tiny cartoon fairy people and you could get a Chew egg and then hatch it and you had to feed it. And you could teach it stuff and you could bring the chew to school and Aww. teach it new skills and stuff. And it was like you were responsible for a little chew. Are you saying that's like what a baby is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I see. But I guess what I'm saying is that like you would think that like, well, babies do need like formula or whatever. I don't fucking know. Like, you know, they need special, you know, nutrition so that it survives and is healthy. Yeah. But I, I can, don't think yeah. I think the thing about baby food is that. They're not eating it, like, alone. Like, when we eat food, we're thinking about, like, a fully balanced meal. But babies either drink formula or, like, breastfeed or whatever and eat the baby food as a way to, like, transition into eventually eating real food. So this is, like, a little snack. A little snacky snack. Oh. I think. So when little Reed, my sister's baby, six months old, uh, when he eats this disgusting baby food, it's just, like... It's like he's having, like, a coffee and a muffin. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not lunch. You can't, you know, just have a muffin for lunch. He liked this one, I think. But I think this is what he ate last time that um, he was at your between. house. That's what I meant. You didn't pick up on my, um like, joke opening. You just kind of accepted it as a thing, I knew. Oh, what did you say? I said, I have it on good authority. This one's delicious. And you were just like, sweet. Oh, because Reed it. likes it. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Apparently, That's the one that he eats? It's the one he was eating last time he was at the house. Oh, I've only ever seen him eat applesauce. I mean, the apple-flavored one. Isn't this apple? This is apple. Apple, raspberry, and avocado. I think this is the one. I don't remember it being that color. The one that he got all over his face? Well, (laughs) he gets them all over his face. (laughs) The only one that I remember he didn't like specifically that I've heard of was prunes. 
I found it really interesting which ones he doesn't like. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten to know him a little bit better now that I know Just what it by tastes like. That. Yeah. Yeah, That's I the found kind of it. Shit he likes. I found it gross. Like, I, you know what it reminded me of? <laughs> what is when we go out somewhere and I just like get a water and you like order some weird drink and then make me try it, <laughs> and it's just fucking like hor- a horrible concoction of sugar and fruit. See, flavor. that's the thing. If we got a mango one or one with just berries, I feel like I would have. I don't think it's baby food that I don't like. I think it's that baby food. Mm-hmm. Like the uh, pureed avocado with tangy raspberries. That's weird. Mm. That's a weird, like, sweet and savory mixture. <sighs> yeah. Damn, I'm pissed right now. Why? Because I'm losing energy. What the hell? Rapidly. Why are you pissed? Yo, we just drove by an abandoned house. And I'm not going to say where we are. But one time, I went into it. <laughs> <laughs> How I was it? There. Was it and good? One of, uh, it was in the top ten spookiest things that have happened to me in an abandoned location and it was that i was walking through it was dead silent it was nighttime phone flashlights you know very creepy very you know very weird yeah and i walked into a room upstairs deep into the building what i have to go to the atm oh okay we'll go sorry walk into the fucking room and the whole room dark completely pitch black silent is just like fishbowled with weed smoke Oh, you told me this. I don't smoke weed. The person I was with does not smoke weed. We were not smoking weed. And the room was filled with fret. Like somebody had just, was just smoking weed in the room and may have still been in the room. Cause we were like, yo, like, is anyone there? Like, sorry. Like, uh... and it was just silent, no response. And then we just turned around and left. That's terrifying. The it, no response part. It was most likely somebody who did not want to be, you know, found and was probably terrified they were of probably, our intrusion. Yeah, because you probably caught them, like, right after they took a bong rip or something. And you're just like, hello? hello? In an abandoned building? And they're like, yeah. ah! Do you think that I should chill on mentioning anything about abandoned buildings on this podcast? What do you mean? Like, should I stop doing that? Like, am I going to end up like Bobby Shmurda? Did Bobby Shmurda go down for Urbex? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, no, what are you saying right now? No. He was just one of the most famous uh, 2010s cases of, of self-report where he, like, dropped a crazy-ass album about being a badass, like, oh know, yeah, rap gangster guy. And they just used all of his lyrics as evidence in court against him. And he went to jail for a oh. substantial amount of time. So I knew that, but I thought that he dropped the album after he was in jail. No, he dropped an album and then got expedited directly to jail Damn. because of his album. Didn't he just get out, though? He did. Good for him. Yeah. I mean, but he lost, like, some, like, critical, you know, time in his life, probably. Yeah. I mean, I don't know anything about the guy. Maybe, like, he was in... Maybe he did something absolutely heinous, and I have no idea. You could listen to his album and find out. I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, I liked it when it came out. So don't tell anybody what I'm doing now. So we're at the ATM. Okay. Okay. Shit. Open my wallet. Okay. Um, I'll do my best to uh, do this with uh, no, no verbal words. communication. Okay, so I put this. Uh, Probably like five hundred. A withdrawal. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm putting it in my other account. It's not really a withdrawal. Right. So. Uh, Same as it always is. I wonder if anyone in the audience relates to. Um, fuck. Hmm? Sorry, I can't talk right now. I just got to do this real quick. <laughs> Savings? Uh, yes. Hey, you know what's kind of funny about this is, what? uh, so other amount, 500? Yeah. Do you remember, did you know that on phones, like, like real landline phones, each tone of each button has an actual individual tone like a specific frequency on an atm should i say yes yes well no like a a landline phone your scrunchie's falling off (sighs) fucking 
You know why I my what I was saying wasn't making sense and you weren't understanding what I was saying? Why? I caught you because I turned around to look at you and you were just staring at your phone going, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. No, a, yep, a I totally get it. I totally time. get it. Yeah, well, no, I remember. I know what you're saying. Go on. Well, I was just saying, like, that seems like a really good thing to uh, not do. To not have different tones for yeah, each. Yeah, like, imagine if an ATM just had, like, tones like that. <laughs> and, True. like, people listening could, like, de- de- decode what I just did and the numbers. Here's thing. Hold the on, thing. Give me your, your other one. Here you go. Do you know what? Uh, I, oh, thanks for the receipt. So, years ago, there was a meeting between Kanye West and Donald Trump in the Oval Office. Interesting. And they were meeting about something. Long story short, <laughs> there was a, uh, a camera shot of Kanye West. Um, oh, did you count it, by the way? No. I, I tend to double check. Just cause... Count it. I don't know. All right. There the was a shot. Kanye West. There was a shot of Kanye West opening up his phone and his password. They they filmed his password, and it was just zero 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 zero. What an idiot! Just like a bunch of zeros, one after another. <laughs> Isn't that kind of odd? That's kind of funny. Do you think that's significant at all? But- Someone like him would think that meant something. All right, check- probably just yeah, easy cash. to remember. Uh, checking your savings. Checking. Is this a stupid thing to do on air? What? No. It feels very exposed, doesn't it? I mean, it's not my pin. Oh, I said it a bunch. <laughs> all right, where do I put it in? In the cash in part. All what right, mean? all right, all right. Oh, fuck. This is such compelling content. <laughs> I wonder if they liked the counting cut money sound effect. ASMR. They must have. ASMR. Um, I think we've done this before, too. Not on air. Really? Definitely not. Huh. Do you think we're stressing your family out because it's 7.30 we're not there? Nah, my uncle who is driving us to the airport is going to show up, park, have a cup of coffee, talk, chill, and then drive us. All right. So I think that there might be like a 10 minute grace period. Fuck. Uh, uh, what happened? Uh, nothing. What do we do if it jams? What? It didn't jam, but like, what do you do if it does? It's a whole thing. All right. It depends how bad the jam is. Usually it spits your money back out. Well, it didn't. Um, if it actually jams, then you have to call Rockland Trust and file a claim and they count their ATM out the next business day. That would be really bad. Okay. Uh, all right. So continue. Yeah. Total amount inserted, $500. Fuck. I accidentally just said my bank. Does it matter? Maybe. Well, we can't bleep it because you're going to upload this as soon as we get home. Uh, no, I can cut that. Sorry. It's okay. It might not be the first time I've said it. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Uh, Take your card. Wait, what the fuck? It won't let me take the card. Is it done? Oh, it's printing the receipt. Please take your card. Da, 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 there you go. Da, da. Thank you. I just got to say, it seems like you have a bit of a, a, a strange system. What do you mean? Like, I don't know. Is that normal? Do people withdraw money from one account and put it into another account? Like, all, like, manually with cash at an ATM? I do it on purpose so I can't just spend money for my savings. I don't have any online access to this account. Hmm. All right. And it is normal, because I used to work at a bank, and people do it. What? Old people? No. Hey, want to see something Young cool? people who use internet money too much. Want to see some lore about uh, me? Sure. So, look through those trees. Uh, okay. And look at that wall behind it. See that? It says, stay wicked. Okay. And there's a red alien. Yeah. I spray painted that there when I was 13. That's crazy. And it looks like somebody drew a dick on it. Yeah, going into the mouth. Did you not do that? No. Okay. That's crazy that's still there. It it's is. It's very dark still. 
Yeah, it's not exposed to sunlight, probably not a lot of rain. It's honestly in a pretty, uh, you know, one <laughs> Stay time. Stay wicked. One time in like 2015, 14 or something, mm -hmm. I was walking around here and I walked behind there to pee in those bushes and very awkwardly found somebody laying on the ground uh, using IV drugs Ooh. and they just started screaming at me. They were like, get the fuck out! Ooh. It was horrible. That sucks. I was like, I'm so sorry! <laughs> and I just like ran. <laughs> very uncomfortable. Yeah. That does oh, sound uncomfortable. Man. Anyway. Anyway, dark. That's too dark for house. Oh, I thought there was like a tie-in. It's just a bonus story. That's a bonus story. Some yeah. bonus content. I also used to smoke weed there uh, almost every morning for my uh, sophomore year of high school before school every day. <laughs> Are those seats of a car? It's a yeah. whole set of car seats. That's kind of cool. Shout out to all the uh, people that used to smoke weed every day before school. <laughs> I hope you're okay these days. Shouts out. <laughs> we're getting there. I know that we're short on time, but we do. We are only at 40 minutes on this episode. We have like a perfect so. cushion of five minutes between when you would probably upload this and when we would need to leave. Yeah. I think we're going to be able to swing it as long as there's nothing else that we need to do. There's nothing else that I can think of. And Nothing also, else. it really isn't that bad if this is like a 45 minute. Man, this is going to be a short episode. Sorry, everybody. Call us on baby food. Babe, trying baby food for the first time. <laughs> Probably not the first time. Uh, I don't think I've tried baby food. Oh, I get it. Because <laughs> I used to be a baby. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, can you prove that your mom fed you baby food? I think everybody's mom had to feed them baby food. No. You didn't have to go through the baby food stage to get to real food? Isn't that, like, critical? I mean, do you have to? I mean, fucking, they didn't have baby food in, like, in like the Renaissance or, like, the Middle Ages or something. Cavemen didn't have baby food. Huh. Yo, can you imagine how fucking insane it was to care for an infant when you were a caveman? That's probably wild. Like, what the fuck did those people do, man? There's probably a lot of blood spilt. Blood spilt. Like, probably a lot of, like... Probably, yeah. Why blood spilt? I don't know. People, like, defending babies somehow from, like, weirdos. Mm. Or, like, other, like, man or, like, animals, maybe. Yeah. I mean, taking care of a baby seems stressful as fuck even now, so... Yeah, it's like one of the hardest things you could ever do in your whole life. And we have as a society and like species more resources than have ever been available to any other generation mm. of humans. And it's still the hardest thing to do ever. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Well, it's very high stakes. It's not something that right, you could just, yeah. like... Like, if you... I don't know. If it goes wrong in some way, it will most likely be the most devastating thing you could ever experience. Yeah. So, it's simultaneously the most profound and amazing thing you could experience in your life, the scariest, the most high stakes, and... I don't know if I already said this, but like you said, the biggest risk ever. Yeah. I can't imagine. Like, it's like, like, I bet that's so true. Like, when people are like, what do they say? Like, oh, like, just something instantly changes in your mind. Mm. Like, I, can you imagine? Like, I can't, like, I, I believe the people that say that. And I feel like maybe I could imagine. But I probably, I probably can't. Like, if there was some random person here that had a baby, they'd be like, no, you can't imagine. Yeah. And I'd be like, maybe I could. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, man. Or I can. I want kids at some point in my future, but it's kind of weird because, like, simultaneously, I'm 25 right now, which yeah. is, like, within the range of when it's, like, normal to think about having kids or when you're going to have kids. Maybe, yeah. Um, And I can't fucking imagine. 
I don't see myself in the next five years being like, I'm ready now. This is a good time. You know what I mean? Well, what if you just like uh, became like a, bil- a millionaire or something and or, you know, what I, mean? I don't know. Like, I mean, money is the real like thing that seals the deal. Why I'm not ready, but I don't even think that's the main reason. Like if I don't know. Like know. I got some loose ends to tie up before I embark on that quest. What loose ends? Just like figuring my shit out. I don't know. Yeah, me too. I don't know though, because like there have been chapters in my life where my folk, my like mental focal point of everything I did was like figuring myself out and learning or whatever. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of it was just like a lot of it was just one giant like spiritual like jack off like idiot like <laughs> like it's like I wasn't doing anything useful. I wasn't figuring myself out. I was just being an idiot and not accomplishing anything. Interesting. You know, like nobody listening would really know what I mean by this. But like there was a time like the Puzzle Factory days, which was a chapter in my time life where I was, you know, one of many stewards of a DIY space mm. where we had shows every single night. And long-time listeners will know about that because you've talked about it before. Yeah, long-time listeners will know, but I just said that for context just in case. But That's that was like a time where, like, there were some times where I'd be there and it would be like 3 a.m. and there would just be like people like kind of like chilling, laying around, like not even doing anything. And I'd just be like laying there on a couch, like vaping, <laughs> like no job, like not, nothing really going for me except for the shows. Yeah. And I would just be like, am I an idiot? Well, like, am I supposed to be here? I mean, yeah, though. Like, it was sick, and it was one of the best DIY venues I've ever been a part of. Like, it was the one of the fucking crazy. Like, it was a powerhouse of, of shows and debauchery for when, when it was alive. But So I think that that's absolutely not waste of time. I think that the idea that you have to be productive all the time and that you have to have a job to be considered productive is internalized capitalism. But I just remember many points in my life where I was fighting so hard to be productive, right? Mm. Where I was doing that, where I was like, I got to be productive. I got to do that. I got to like make something of myself. And, and, but I would just be constantly spinning my wheels. Yeah. And even when I did try to be like that and do productive stuff, it amounted to nothing. Mm. Like nothing would happen. Yeah. And, but now i don't know exactly what's changed really about myself or my the world or whatever but now when i do that and i'm like i'm gonna be productive and do something productive with my and accomplish something i do all the time yeah like i don't know i don't mean i feel like when i say that i sound like an inspirational tiktok video (laughs) that's stupid like i don't believe in any of that stupid shit but like well how old were you when you were feeling like that before I don't fucking know. There's this is so unscalable and abstract. Well, that, like I don't know. Like I mean, I'm not to be corny, but like a big thing that I'm seeing here is like just age, probably. Yeah, like you literally grew another part of your brain since then. Yeah, I I picked up a prefrontal cortex. So I hooked that up. Which I don't know if you all know this. If you've heard this from guidance counselors or other adults often enough in your life for but, the young for the youngins in the audience. Yeah, the prefrontal cortex literally is responsible for your ability to accomplish things and to weigh decision making critical thinking risk assessment self-preservation prioritization of tasks yeah your ability to handle multiple functions at once in a way that is like (laughs) thorough and comprehensive (laughs) for the people that really 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 don't know to put it really simply there's two parts of your brain that are fighting each other all the time one of them is your limbic system Your limbic system wants to have sex. It wants to play video games and eat Doritos and punch people and, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. And your prefrontal (laughs) cortex wants you to, like, study so you don't fail out of school and go to bed on time or whatever, right? And your limbic system is, like, the most ancient part of your brain, right? Yeah. Like, that's, like, the animal brain. And it's like the first thing to grow in and what pilots you for most of your life. And the last part to grow in is the part of your brain that kind of controls and tames that idiot part of your brain. And it grows in between like 24 and 26. 
Yeah, because, like, I don't know, man. There's tons of smart and healthy, well-adjusted people that might, like, take a weekend to go, like, get drunk and gamble and be stupid and, like, yell at somebody with all their friends and have fun. And they're fine. That's a limbic behavior, right? Like, going to the Uh, casino and having fun? Yeah, I think the part you mentioned about being drunk and yelling at somebody with all your friends might be a little bit out there for a weekend activity. Well, I don't know. Maybe (laughs) I don't get drunk. (laughs) <laughs> Sometimes, like, somebody tries to, to step to you and the crew, and you got to lay down the law. That's insane. With a gun. If you're Just an kidding. adult at a bar and you're, like, stepping to people, you need to get a grip. I'm, like, really hoping that I have been in my last fist fight. You should be. In- I should be, but... You should be done with that. But life happens. I mean, yeah. Life happens. Some You may be... There may come a time where I have to, you know... I have you never know, take somebody out. I'm going to be honest right now. I have never been in a fist fight. Yeah. But if someone tried to fight me and I was with you, I would expect you to handle that fist fight. It would really I would, depend. I would on the defer. <laughs> and yeah, abscond well, from the situation. You would just abscond and leave me to like get potentially get injured, most no, more no, no. likely get arrested. I wouldn't leave you there. I would try to for both of us to remove ourselves from the situation, but if one of us was going to have to fight somebody, and it was me and you present. I'm not doing it. When I worked at a, a, a youth dual diagnosis program yeah. for a- addiction and you know mental illness and shit, one thing that I had to explain to clients on a regular basis that I felt like was one of the most important things ever mm-hmm. was how so many young boys in the program would be like 15 or something, but they would have the face and, and physical abilities of an adult man. Yeah. Like, they would look, and like, if you saw them from, you know, I don't know, at nighttime or in the heat of the moment, you would think that this is, like, a 28-year-old or something. Yeah. But it's, like, some dumbass kid. Oh. And I would, you'd, like, it's, like, there's, like, this moment where, like, when you're, like, a dumbass in, like, middle school, like, you can get in a fight in the schoolyard. Yeah. Or in the cafeteria or something. But then you cross this threshold where you look like an adult. Yeah. And if you get in a fist fight, you are going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> you are expelled and you are going to jail. Yeah, you really can't do that. Fist fights are very bad. Like, competitive sports and shit, or like, I mean, co- combat sports, that's all cool and shit. But, like, fights are so, so medieval and bad. Yeah. And I say that as somebody who thinks medieval stuff is cool. I've never been in a fight. Good. You shouldn't, because we live in, like, civilized you know modern society yeah never really had an interest <sighs> um we probably need to we should uh it's like seven forty, and we're leaving at 8 yo your mom's texting you fuck really yeah oh She's fuck she been called texting me you. fuck ah! <laughs> all right uh i'm taking a right from the left lane because that's what t- i'm that i'm that dude Bro. I'm that dude, right from the left lane cut type of dude. All right, should we shut this uh this shit off? Uh, yeah. So we are going to England, Theo. We're going to fucking England. I have never left this continent. Me neither. I've gone on like less than five vacations in my life. The farthest I have gone from leaving this continent is like Nantucket. The farthest I've gone. I've gone to Canada, but the farthest I've gone distance-wise is L.A. Oh, and that was I, yeah, me too. W- for like a weekend with my mom. I've never gone... I mean, this is still a family vacation, but it's not my family, so it's a little different. And I've never gone out of the continent. Yeah. Does going to an island on the coast of a continent constitute leaving the continent? Like, if you were in Africa and you went to Cape Verde, would you have left the continent officially? Like, does an island, like is an island by technicality a part of the mainland continent? Um, Hawaii, no. I feel like Hawaii definitely counts as leaving the continent. But, like, you know, Martha's Vineyard probably doesn't count, right? Well, wait, that's actually an interesting question because Hawaii is part of the united states it is but it's not part of north america you're saying no i mean definitionally really no i mean it's like hundreds it's like i don't know it's like in the middle of the fucking pacific ocean 
Like it's not close. If to you're the talking like United physical like attachment to the same plane of land, then yeah. But yeah. I wonder how that's actually designated in terms of the map. Hmm. Huh, I never thought about that. Me neither. I just made that idea up. I'm so smart. Your family's definitely freaking out because we went underwear shopping right before we're supposed to leave on a plane. Yeah, I might get a little bit yelled at real, right now, but that's fine. I'm going to get yelled my, at too, and it's not even my fault. No, you're not going to get yelled at. No one's going to yell at you. Just it, just disarm them. Walk in eating the baby food. No, no, no. we got to throw <laughs> that away. No one can ever know that we did that. <laughs> Oh, the door's open and everything? Well, Rudy's not here, so fuck it. Yeah, we're not that late. I have to get my shoes out of the car. All right. Where are my car keys? Your car keys are... I don't know. Bro. I don't know where they are. I'm going to fucking kill you. (laughs) They're in my room. All All right, right, we're off to England! We're going overseas, baby. Woo! Shouts out. Thank you to the podcast. Thank you for listening. Oh, I really wanted to download Rugrats in Paris for the plane. Forgot. That's a funny idea. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Boston Art Podcast is an independent DIY production by Brian Huntress and Theodora Earthworms. The information contained in this episode represents the views and opinions of the original creators or our guests, and does not represent any institution, organization, or business. Find us on Instagram at Boston Art Podcast, and tune in for a new episode every Friday. Thank you for listening.